like looking bummy like on the circuit all the days outside of race day and then on race day be like hey, how you like me now this is the interesting part about you know when you get into europe is you have a stranger come and pick you up so thankfully most of the meets they'll have some signage so you know but i've been to meets where it's just some random person who's like comes up and like hey who is your come up let's go and you're like oh, i hope that it's real <laughs> I'm pretty excited because I have my own room to myself. Whenever we travel overseas, a lot of times you have a roommate and a lot of the time you can get stuck with like a random person. It's cool in some ways because it's a cool way to just meet people. So it's always interesting when you open that door to be like, yo, who is my roommate? Check out the views. I woke up this morning feeling absolutely horrible. I must have picked up some sort of something <coughs> when I was flying. My body feels really achy. My throat is hurting. I like have the chills. I'm running a fever. I'm gonna spend today trying to just rest, run to the little store across the street and get some medicine. I need to get some medicine, but I don't recognize any of these labels and I can't read it, and we have to be very careful about what we put in our body, so. Um, I decided to just get some water and orange juice to be safe. I do say, working out helps to like, help you when you're sick sometimes. We shall see. No matter how much water I drink right now, my mouth feels like I have cotton balls in it. A lot of the places where we race aren't like permanent tracks. So as you can see in the background, they're actually setting the track up right now. Just getting back from my workout, um, it was pretty good. My legs feel less sore than I expected them to. And I feel better, actually. Remember I said that like, sometimes people say when you work out you feel better after? I actually do. Bueno, bueno. Six, six o'clock right now and I'm ready for bed. Like I want to sleep, so. The wonders and beauty of jet lag. gonna be um, taking me to drug testing. You ready? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so. I just got out of drug testing. Um, I wasn't allowed to bring the camera in there, but I'll tell you guys about the procedure. Um, but there's no more buses. The last bus left, so I'm trying to figure out how I'm getting back to the hotel. There actually is a bus. I thought I might have been stranded. <laughs> you guys got me. Okay, cool. <laughs> guys, another win. Another PV. Um, man, I'm just so grateful. Gorgeous. This bouquet is. Like, hello. This joint is like a legit full thing of flowers. So, 
I'm heading to Birmingham tomorrow. And I really hope I can bring these flowers with me because ain't nobody telling me I can't bring my flowers on the plane, on car. And I got this. Let's, let's just open it up. Oh, this is cute. Like a little um, air warmer headband. I have the most sensitive ears in life. So this will actually be put to use. Oh, cool. It's like a, I guess like a rain jacket. That's cute. My bag was like 50 pounds coming over. I don't know how I'm getting all of this stuff over with me. I'm gonna make it happen though. I'm, I've never really been an indoor runner. My indoor times have never really reflected um, my outdoor times, um, which I think is great. Like I said before, indoors is really just about working on things. So it's exciting for me to just be running personal best because um, I just feel like it'll translate really well for outdoors. Um, one more indoor meet and then you know back to training back to the grind back to putting in like some serious work getting ready for outdoor season <laughs>